typical day, um, it is truly doing our morning public spay and neuters. Um, so checking in our cats and dogs, and then of course, getting them in the back, getting weights, putting them in the back for the tax to do their thing. And then of course we do update calls for the owners, entering all of the data for surgeries that day, trying to keep owners updated. And if we need to send them home, get their stuff ready for go homes. This organization's just amazing. And I just, I absolutely love the people I work with and I love what we do. And I have just an utmost sense of pride of, uh, of working here and, and telling people what, you know, how we work and what we do. I say the biggest challenge is remaining calm <laughs> because like some days you're swamped some days you just have endless amounts of uh, like say the checklist is like 25 plus pages of uh, health checks and then you got injury list and then you got right now let's say we have the five parvo patients and then you have a dental cat to check on you have all these other, it's just balancing and like remaining calm and then you got take your calls so if they get important calls for triage we have to go evaluate the patient. You can't just like freak out and get stressed out. You just handle one thing and get on with the other. So I'd say maintaining a balance of calmness. So I am a certified veterinary technician at the Humane Society of the Pikes Peak region. I am in charge of the surgery flow. So we pre-med animals in the morning and just uh, do spay and neuters all day long. We're also in charge of um, any emergency that comes in or any injured animal, we'll take care of that. I think biggest challenge is a lot of the time people not realizing how often they truly should be vaccinating their pets. So of course explaining to them kind of the risks and obviously things that come with if their pet is out in the public um, going to dog parks, different places like that, unvaccinated, what can happen, as well as spaying and neutering. A lot of people don't know kind of the health risks that come with prolonging it. So explaining to owners kind of that risk of pyometra or even some cancers, things like that. It's really rewarding though to have them be like, oh, I just never knew that. Thank you so much for telling me. I'll use it in the future. So it's nice to know that we're kind of helping to stop and prevent things later on. We as a humane society, we work together just to take care of one animal. Um, so we have admissions, animal law enforcement, the veterinary clinic, customer service, and it's crazy how everybody works as one team just to get one animal adopted. I honestly like surgery a lot. I like prepping the patients. I like doing all the sterile preps, cleaning everything, make sure everything's really, really clean. Uh, I like assisting the DVM all the time. Plus they're very knowledgeable, so I like to ask questions during it and get to know them better. But the surgical aspect, I love the most. In hospital, I definitely like the health checks because you get to get up personal with the animal, get to like hold them, check them out, do physical exam, um, get closer, you get to know your animal patient better. Animals make things better in, in your life and in people's lives and, and just being a part of that and being able to help people maybe you know get that perfect pet as an adoption. We kind of remove some of those roadblocks that are a little bit easier for people to, to get animals in their house and, and just see the joy and, and everything that you know they do bring. And, and I think it's just a good sense of, of community here. Um, we all kind of are going for the same purpose. You know, we all want to be an advocate for animals who need advocates and, and I think it just feels really good. Be, be ready to work. <laughs> Don't be afraid to clean. Don't be afraid to ask questions. It, basically, if you need help, ask for it. I mean, everyone's willing to help. Animal care helps us and we help animal care. Customer service helps us. We help customer service. So don't be afraid to ask questions. Just get ready to get down and dirty. You're going to get stuff on you. You're going to get cover. You're going to be nasty, but it's all part of the job. It's really enjoyable. Yeah.